Hi everyone! I am very conscious of my voice because someone called me the Indian Cardi B. That's weird. And uh, I just feel a little insulted by it. But uh, oh, I'm gonna try my best to sound classy, though that just came out very unclassy. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to be making a very healthy, easy peasy lemon squeezy recipe. And uh, what is the recipe? So I really like Snickers as everybody else does. But uh, I've reached an age where I can't slam Snickers and not have it, you know, look like I've not slammed Snickers. It's basically dates which acts as the caramel part of Snickers and in this I stuff uh, peanut butter which I get from Nut, which I feel like part of y'all think I'm in love with the owner I'm not but her stuff is really 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 good also she's a good friend but more importantly the stuff is mad mental y'all don't understand I've got, gone through a kg of peanut butter so the caramelly part of the Snickers bar is going to be the dates the nutty part is going to be organic natural peanuts that I've roasted myself and then the like a little bit more peanut also because I just love the product so much uh, the peanut butter we're going to be adding will be why not just to give it that added flavor and uh, some really nice uh, chocolate bits that I got from my bakery but if you don't have this you can always use Amul dark chocolate or any dark chocolate that's available I think Cadbury has a good dark chocolate so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut open this date okay and I'm going to take out the seed which I didn't know it had honestly I thought I was getting seedless things okay so I'm just going to do this to a few of them but what you can do is make this and freeze it and have it throughout the week whenever you're craving something sweet just whip them out they last for a very very long time there's nothing true like that perishable in this recipe like dates last for a long time peanuts last for a long time like that okay now what I'm going to do to this is stuff it with some peanut butter I'm just going to add a little bit of peanut butter to this and stuff it with peanuts okay within the casing of the date right it's oozing mm. and place it just open it like a case stuff the peanut butter add some nuts to it into the casing and close it repeat process so you can use a microwave and just put it for 30 seconds stop, stir, microwave stop whatever you get what I'm saying but I don't have a microwave so I'm just going to use a double boiler which works as effectively I'm going to switch this on and I'm going to put it on a medium-ish temperature and I'm going to make this a double boiler okay okay and I'm going to add my chocolate scallops to this uh, you don't really need this much chocolate but it's just nice to have okay so this uh, water is going to get heated and that's going to transfer to this glass bowl and then eventually all this chocolate is going to melt and look beautiful you could you probably i could have used a bigger bowl but i didn't find one have you mentioned how i have not said uh, because i'm married no god please no no i'm going to take some time while we're getting the chocolate melted uh, you want to pop this in the freezer so just firm so when we coat it with chocolate it holds its firmness okay a few moments later okay so now the chocolate is nice and melty and gorgeous and soft and I've switched off the the double boiler okay you just need to wait like a minute or so for the chocolate it, takes, it doesn't take too long for the chocolate to melt at all and it's always better to double boil it instead of directly heating it because sometimes there's a tendency for it to burn I like the double boiling I use I use a double boiling method at my bakery as well 
So always make sure you have a baking paper or any silicon mat that doesn't get you to stick. This so the dates doesn't stick into the thing. Okay, and you just roll it about. Okay, shake off the excess and place it. They like little snicker balls. That's not too deadly on the stomach and weight. Shake off the excess. It's so simple. It's so dumb, and here's something so tasty. Okay, once it's coated in chocolate, you just have to pop it in the freezer for like ten minutes. Once the chocolate hardens, you can pop it like a chocolate into your mouth, and it will be the most amazing dessert ever. So I'll see you in ten minutes. Okay, so I popped it into the freezer for ten minutes. Ideally, I should do it for half an hour, but I'm very impatient, and I like my chocolate a little melty. So I'm going to remove it. It comes out so cleanly off the thing. Can you see? Mmm, just like a Snicker bar, but healthier, tastier, and genuinely so nice. Oh god! Whenever you're feeling like you want to crave something sweet, and you're like you don't want to like disappoint your diet. I don't want to disappoint yourself. Just make these, freeze it, keep it in the fridge. Every time you feel like having something sweet, just pop this in your mouth and just shut up for the rest of the day. Nice. Oh God! Like, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more.